Hello. Today's demonstration will take a look at inertia. Inertia is an object's tendency to resist a change in motion. For the most part, we evaluate this as mass in most of our physics work. So here we have a large three kilogram mass, reasonably large, a little over six pounds, and hanging beneath it is a string. It is also suspended by a string. And the question asked is, if this string is tugged on, the lower string is tugged on slowly, will the string break above it or will the string break below it? Would your answer change if the string was tugged on rather quickly? Take a moment to think about that. If we tug on the string slowly, will the string above the mass break or below the mass break? If we tug on the string below quickly, Will the string above the mass break, or will the string below the mass break? Now, let's take a look at this. Before I get going, I'd like to take a moment to explain what this string is. So, clearly I have some suspicion that the string above this might break. So just in case, so that I don't have over six pounds landing on my hand, there's a safety string connected here, just to be sure. So now let's take a look. Three, two, one. The string underneath it broke. What was happening there? When I tug on the string quickly, it takes time to get this inertia moving, right? Things don't move right away. Lighter masses will be easier to get moving quickly, but heavier masses will take more time to get moving. By the time this force was felt by this mass, the string had already broken and no longer existed. Let's try it again, and let's tug slowly this time. Now we will tug slowly. Ah, when we tug slowly, the string above breaks. We can take a look at this again, by using a small bungee cord as the support instead of a string. This allows us to slow down the effect. Now, if I tug on the mass slowly, we can see the bungee cord is in fact affected. If I tug on the mass quickly, we have hardly any movement in there. So that force is felt by the mass, but by the time it's able to get moving, it's already gone and it doesn't break the string. The same phenomenon actually occurs when tearing off a length of toilet paper. In order to get a length of toilet paper, you tug slowly on the roll so that that force has time to get the inertia of the roll moving. But when it's time to actually tear off the length of toilet paper, you tug rapidly so that the force is sudden and doesn't have enough time to overcome the inertia of the toilet paper roll system. Thank you.